Oh, oh my god, god dude. That killed. What up, what up? We're here with the baseball bat bros today, folks. We have the new Stinger BB Core bat. We have the Guardian. I'm here with my boy, Drew Burris, junior in high school. He's really freaking good. Uh, guys, we're out here at Lake Point uh, in Georgia, the PBR field. It's really freaking nice here out here. You play with a five star, yeah? Yep. All right, let's get it, boys. It's gonna be a good bat, I think. All right, folks, so here's a closer look at the newest BB Core bat from Stinger. We have the Guardian. As of now, this is an exclusive uh, through Guardian Baseball, but guys, $200, absolutely love to see it. And from what they're saying, this is basically gonna be kind of a blend of the Stinger Nuke 2 and the Stinger Missile 2 with the swing weight kind of right in the middle. So if we line them up here, you'll see that the barrel profile looks the exact same. Uh, the end caps look the exact same. Really importantly here, that thin handle and that smooth knob taper uh, is pretty much the exact same, folks. So, all right, so here we have our three uh, Stinger BB Core bats. They're all balanced right here on this uh, ball carrier. So you can see here, uh, the nuke is gonna be the most end loaded out of the three. The balance point is gonna be closer to the end of the bat. The missile has a balance point closer to the handle of the bat. That's gonna be more of a balanced bat. And you can see uh, the Guardian here. If we line them up, guys, it's like perfectly right in the middle when you measure the balance point. So ideally the amount of end load on the Guardian should be right between kind of the most end loaded bat on the market, the Nuke, and one of the most balanced bats on the market, the missile here. So yeah, I mean, that's a pretty cool visual. It's it's like right perfectly in the middle there. And a quick look at the barrel profile. So putting these two and five eight diameter barrel rings on here, uh, you can see even the nuke and the missile, exact same barrel profile, just a much different balance point. And you can see there folks, the Guardian is just the same thing. It's another uh, same barrel profile version of a Stinger BB core bat, just a more moderate swing weight. I mean, even the handles are the exact same, the taper and everything. Everything is pointing to a very, very solid budget BB core bat here. Let's get it. And check it out, boys. We're out here at the Lake Point PBR Fields, out here in Emerson, Georgia, just outside of Atlanta. Beautiful turf fields. We have 320 down the lines, 385 to center. Here's the setup. I'll be swinging a 33. Uh, Drew's going to be swinging a 34. Drew, tell them you're gamer, man. What's your, uh, you got your gamer over here? So most of this year, I'm oh. 34 XL3. This is a, bro, you, this just, is a you just established right credibility, man. That is a bat bro certified banger right there. 2013, man. Yeah, so uh, you just like that more than the current bats or what? I mean, I like it. Because it's nice and in heavy, yeah. and I mean, to me, it's, it's just got as much pop as anything. Else. You hit a few bombs with it this year. Yeah, I think I, I think I probably hit eight or nine with this one, and, and eight or nine with my um, Z1000. Z1000. All right, let's go, man. Well, we'll have you take a few swings with that. Uh, see how it compares to the Stinger today, man. Let's go. All right, folks. So uh, we're gonna start off taking a few hacks with the missile and nuke. Then we'll switch to the Guardian just to make sure it's kind of the same thing, just different weighting here. So uh, we'll start with the uh, start with the nuke, the heavy one, the budget, the goods, as a, we've uh, referred to it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Is, that a, is that a bomb? To That's start the way gone. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's super that unloaded, but. That barrel weight just throws the barrel through the zone, man. That's that bad Turley swings, ain't it? No, so he swings the missile. Oh, really? He swings a 34 of the missile. I mean, he's got quick hands. I'm kind of surprised he swings a bat that light. Yeah, but I was about to say. He, he, he hit 20-something bombs, dude. He, like, set their Arizona record. Really? All right. Uh, we know about the nuke. Really good. All right, now we got the light version of the nuke, uh, the Stinger Missile 2. Uh, we called it the Budget Voodoo 1. Uh, really, really similar. One of our new kind of favorite BB core bats. It's a twig, man. It feels like a drop four. Yeah. Ooh. Just oh. mash it, dude. Jesus. That sound is like no sound. Yeah, that was weird. This is a thud. You're good. It's just so light, the barrel's getting too far up. That ball's hit pretty well, boys. Oh, oh my God. All right, uh, I guess <laughs> it's really good. All right, so the Guardian's got big shoes to fill. Uh, those are amazing. I mean, the feel off the barrel is pretty similar. The Nuke has more sweet spot, but it's heavier. The Missile has less sweet spot, but it's a lot lighter. Let's see how the Guardian kind of fits in here. I'm My expectations are way up here, boys, and this is only 200 bucks. Dude. Came up hot. Dude, I'm excited. Uh, I missed it. I do like that sound a little bit. I know, it's, it sounds just a, it's kind of a thud, man. 
Oh, oh my god, dude. It's carrying like crazy. Oh man, that gone though, dude. Yeah, this is uh you're gonna mash with this guy. <laughs> oh yeah. Got that one? Yeah, just enough. Man, so if I had to say which it's more like, I'd probably say it's a little more like the nuke than the missile. You still have that decent forgiving barrel. Um, it's the swing weight's right in between though, man. Definitely a slight end load, probably more of a power hitter's bat, but I don't think you're gonna find anything better than this for 200 bucks. As of right now, I'm putting this above like, you know, the String King, the only, kind of only other bat at that $200 price point. Yeah, it sounds like the nuke, man. Yeah, it has good. that super thin handle. Ooh, that's the end of the bat. Still came off good. Oh, oh my god, dude. That ball's killed. Ooh, I think that's where they want us to not hit it. Dude, that's like... That's one of like the better bombs I've hit, man. That was a tank. I know you guys think I'm just riding Stinger. Like, I always hype up their bats, but I promise you, like... We are not sponsored by bat companies. That's not our thing, guys. Like, being completely honest, for $200, like, I'm gonna say right now, we gotta exit velo test it. I wanna get, uh, I wanna get your opinion too, Drew, but I think this is the top 10 bat, folks, for half the price of a lot of these bats, so. Uh, I love this thing, man. It's like the nuke, but a little more manageable swing weight. Dude, I love it. I love it. Jesus. Dude, yeah. I think it's amazing, bro. I want to get your thoughts. You have a really good gamer to compare it against, though. You have oh, yeah. the XL3 mashes. All right, so I was swinging the 33. We got a 34 for, uh, for you here, man. What are you, you got 5'9", swinging 34? Yeah, 5'9", 110. Dude, this guy's got hands, man. So uh, Drew Burris, five-star baseball of the national team, yeah? Yep. Um, Georgia Tech commit. Oh my gosh. Oh, ah! Guy just put up crazy numbers this year, man. Uh, thanks for coming to hit with us today, bro. So we're gonna see how you like this thing compared to the banana bat, a bat that kind of got famous on our channel. We really love this thing. Oh! A bat that's 10 years old, still getting love in college baseball. We'll see how the Guardian stacks up, man. Should be kind of similar swing weight, so let's go. It, it, it is already reminding me a lot of that XL3. Oh. Yeah, that was hammer. <laughs> little hands again. Yeah. Some carry. So did that bring you up much on the hands there? A little bit, yeah. yeah it gets you. It gets you a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, that was real. That was smoked. Yeah. Hey, uh, a little bit, but it's definitely gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, it's out by a little bit. All right, XL3, uh, pretty similar swing weight. This might be a little bit better towards the hands. Uh, this is one of my favorite BB core bats ever, so uh, we'll see here. You can be completely honest, man, whatever yeah, you like more. I got you. Yeah, I, I'm not. I definitely like the feel of this one better. Yeah. I, I can't. I can't confidently say that the other one's not as hot though. Yeah. No, I bet like an exit below. I bet they'd be right there. All right, take uh, take one more with that. Give us your final vote.
That's about all I got right there. <laughs> all right, I gotta freaking swing this thing. I missed this bat, bro. Oh yeah, still got some weight to it. But it, it, you're right, it's a little different. Yeah. It's like it's like yeah. a different turn model, so to speak. Yeah, it, it's definitely definitely still got weight, but it's not yeah. it's not quite as far to the end. It don't feel like. They don't have a bat like this anymore, bro. Not even close. This is this it's unique. Uh huh. Like specifically this one too. <laughs> even like I swung the 2014. And this one is like the best one I've seen. The barrel's just massive. Dude, that feels really good. Uh-oh. You know, ball kind of knuckled it. That's yeah, that was touched, smoke, man. Though. I want to try this 34 for one. Oh. Oh, I don't know, dude. For, I like the thinner handle, I think. Oh, hands. That's gonna do it. Though. Oh, that's gonna do it. Oh, hands. That's gonna do it. Oh, that's gonna do it, dude. Oh. All right. I just like the thinner handle. I think I probably like this. This has more barrel, though. Oh yeah. This definitely has more more barrel to work with. Uh, you can get it towards the hands. You barely feel anything. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about you. I feel like you swung that a little better. Yeah, I definitely feel like game situation. Like, I definitely feel more comfortable with this, just yep. in terms of getting a barrel. Yep. But like I said earlier, I mean, I don't, I definitely can't say that, that that's not as high. I would assume this is a little hotter when you really barrel it up. Yeah. This has a little bit longer barrel and a little bit thicker handle. Maybe more like an I-13 type of turn model. Yep. This is more of your pure power hitting bat, kind of close to the nuke, honestly. Thinner handle, the barrel doesn't start a little until a little bit later. I think this will be hotter though. You'll get some further bombs out of this you hit better more consistently with that. So a yeah. couple good bats, man. Uh, ball is flying today, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, big exit below showdown here, folks. We are in here at PDX Eastside Training on the hit tracks in Omaha, and we have the Stinger Guardian. Very, very excited about this. We are gonna put it up against the fan favorite, the goods. Let's get it. Swing hammer, 98.6. Ninety-eight-five, three-eighty-six. Dude, that was humming. Ninety-nine point nine. All right, all right. Now we've got the goods. Thirty-three thirty. This is a little heavier. Ninety-six-one got a little deep on me. Oh, perfect, perfect. Ninety-nine point nine. Exact same. All right. 97.8, okay, they're right about the same. Uh, this is heavier, this has more barrel also though. Just missed, 97.2, get out. Hammer, dude, 396. That was hands to where it hurt, still at 94.6. Just stomping on these, man. There it is. 99.3 for 303. Little hands. 100.6, baby. All right, that's our PR of the day. 98.8. That is like right on the meat. I'm just, at both bats. I touch it and it's 97. That's what's awesome. 99.3. Oof. 101.1. So they're like the same, dude. They're like the exact same. Difference is just gonna be a little bit less barrel to work with, especially a little bit less sweet spot towards the hands on the Guardian. The goods is very good down here. That's gonna be more swing weight. That's gonna be a lot more expensive. That's gonna be more fragile. So for a power hitter, this is gonna be probably the best budget bat on the market. And I would even say like, this overtakes the nuke for me just cause the swing weight's a lot more manageable and it's still hot. 
All right, folks, it is two days later. I had lifted pretty heavy the night before that exit velo test. So velos were down, I was soft. Uh, I've been hitting again today and the ball's flying. Same baseballs and everything. I'm just, my muscles are recovered. So we're gonna give the nuke one shot. I left the Guardian at home, I know, lazy, but uh, we're gonna see what the nuke can do here. I think I might hit a BB core PR right here. 103.8 is my highest ever. Sound is so satisfying. 100.6. Oh my god. 101.4. 102.5. Oh my gosh. Alright, last chance. Oh, I hooked it. That barely counts. 103.2. If I yank it that hard, I don't usually count it. 102.7. Soft. Couldn't do it today. Gotta get back in the gym. All right, folks, love to see it. Another really, really good bat from Stinger at $200. I mean, they're like for this bat being 200 bucks, there's literally nothing I can say bad about it. Um, it's gonna be pretty much the same bat bro scale as a bat like the Gunner, about an eight sweet spot, definitely a 10 power, and probably about a four swing weight, but there could be an argument to be made for that to be even like a five swing weight. This bat's awesome, and I think it's gonna be potentially a top five, at least like a top eight BB core bat for us. 22 out of 30 thing bangs, man. Really a, a true kind of blend of the nuke and the missile too. A little bit closer to the nuke, but noticeably easier to whip around, but still that same feel. Really good on miss hits, awesome sound. Uh, it launches the ball, man. Uh, definitely more of a power hitters bat, a little more end loaded, but one of the best budget bats on the market right now, guys. This thing absolutely smokes the ball. So I appreciate you guys hanging out today. If you liked the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and you can head over to baseballbatbros.com to see all of our top 50 BB core rankings. And we have our merch over there as well. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.